All she wants was the pride of America The best of the ships on the sea She was built fast and strong About a thousand feet long And was powered by engines of steam Pleasure! Good to see you. We've not met before, but it's time we did. This is so yeah, pleased to see no, please, you. Pleased to see you, Nick. I'm that far from the end of your uh, work. Thank you. No, I, I really, your work has been really inspirational for me. So, thank you. And actually, I believe we did we did meet when I was about ten years old. I went to the Titanic. So. It's such a treat to be on the United States. Uh, I've been studying it now for three years because I'm writing a book about it. And what's remarkable is the background of the man who created this ship. And it was the final triumph of his life. A life that had started earlier. William Francis Gibbs was the man who was the only, as far as I know, autodidact naval architect. He and his brother Frederick were self-taught. They just loved ocean liners and they designed a thousand foot ocean liner, two of them. And the United States secret of its enormous power and speed was the fact that it had a very light hull. And that hull was lighter because 2,000 tons of those funnels behind us here. And the superstructure uh, was of aluminum and no such amount of aluminum had been used before to that extent in any construction ashore or afloat. This was unique new work and because of that you had this imbalance of power to lightness of weight and this is what made the United States fast. The other two secrets that Gibbs was very protective about the flat underwater plating directly under the stern where we're standing now. That hull was flat and it meant that as the ship gathered speed it would plane along the surface raising uh, like a surfboard up towards the surface of the ocean. At the same time he had four propellers. The two outboard ones were four bladed, the two inboard ones were five bladed and that was one of his secrets and nobody was happier than when the ship came into dry dock to be christened at slipway number 10 at Newport News that the dock was flooded because Gibbs didn't want anybody to see the underside of his ship and that's one thing that Gibbs's mania for secrecy was famous. He was asked once how fast is the United States and his only response to that reporter was Joe Stalin would love to know. This is where a couple I interviewed were sitting on this side of the ship. And she was chronic with this. Oh. Couldn't eat anything. It was a rolly day and suddenly they looked and all they could see was sky. The sea had disappeared. Right. And then the reverse roll happened. They went back again. He was very angry waves. It was just pointed out to me just the other day. Okay. Go from the side, you won't get a reflection. I'm going to say. Are you going up to the bridge? Yeah. I have. I've done that part. I didn't get P and S, which is kind of fun. 
these funnels were to have been the tallest ever on a ship. And Gibbs's funnels were not only taller, they were wider and deeper, fore and aft. And the footprints they filled were very solid. And they created a wonderfully staunch, elegant look that begged to be photographed. I can't think there's any first class passenger at least who didn't photograph wife or husband or child against these funnels. It was one of the great shipboard backgrounds it was obligatory for every United States passenger. Now it's all so just how she rested, she rust, despite all of the efforts made. And now the procession is asking the question, can this great lady be saved? Yes, says United States Conservancy. We're trying to save a part of our history. Visit SaveTheUnitedStates.org to take part in the restoration of the SS United States in a very personal way. From your web browser at SaveTheUnitedStates.org, you can explore a detailed rendering of the ship and zoom in to select the piece of the ship you wish to save for only $1 per square inch. You can personalize your part of the ship by posting your own images and words. In addition, you can even select badges and colors to make your piece of the ship stand out. Once your donation is complete, you can share your creation through Facebook, Twitter, or email, allowing friends and family to link directly to your piece of the ship and start their own journey. As you explore the ship, see who else has joined the effort, view their photos, and read about their personal connections to the United States. Search every inch of the ship and find interesting facts about various onboard locations and explore our interactive timeline to gain a better understanding of the ship's rich history. Going beyond your donation, anything you discover at SaveTheUnitedStates.org can be shared through social media to help spread the word. A simple $1 donation can save a specific piece of America's flagship for yourself, your children, or your grandchildren. You can start right now from your computer. Go to SaveTheUnitedStates.org to help restore America's flagship. Remember, SaveTheUnitedStates.org. Thank you.